What's up folks, it's Fozzy here, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Today we've got another squad building video for you guys. Going with a similar theme that we did last week, where we're going to do three different squads, three unique budgets, just so it sort of covers bases for multiple different people, rather than spending say 15 minutes chatting about one squad. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 50k, a 150k and a 300k squad builder. The core of this is going to be based around the La Liga team of the season, and with team of the season we're doing themes for each week. This uh, is also going to be based around three core players, which you can see on the screen right now, because they're currently all available in objectives for free. And then it gives a, they're also very easy to get, and it frees up some budget to spend elsewhere. So you'll see the three players on screen, Fati, Sarabia, and Jesus Navas in all three teams. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up on it. It's greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And just real quick on the subscriber fun, I did say thank you in the custom tactics video on Monday that we hit 1,000 subscribers. That was greatly appreciated. After we hit that, we were able to apply for the YouTube Partner Program, and today I got confirmation that we were accepted which is fantastic opens up some opportunities for the channel and again thank you guys very much for all the support in that but without any further ado let's jump straight into the 50k hybrid which is a full la liga team okay guys so this one isn't as pretty in the eye because i don't have them in the club so i emptied my club at the minute so we're using a lot of concept cards here but this team comes in between 50 to 60k at the minute. It's currently 55,000 coins. It was actually 45,000 when I started planning this with how like things have just spiked as the market fluctuates. It did spike to 60k. It's now 55k. Because the prices are moving quite a lot, I'm not going to give the individual prices for each player because I can't guarantee they're going to go up and down. There's not going to be drastic rises, but that's the case. But you can see the team here. Um, of course, it's 50k. It's a budget team. At this point in the game, this is really if you're starting a new account or maybe you just new to the game and you only just picked it up on deal. And sort of needing an easy way to start. I will say the core players, as we're talking about, is Jesus Navas, Sarabia, and Fati. Jesus Navas is four star, two star. Um, the skill moves is nice for fullback. He is smaller at five eight. Uh, the two star weak foot. I prefer to have three, but you can definitely work with two star. Like Roberto Carlos Moments has two star and it's still fine. Um, this card's really good for an objective card you can get. Um, I've completed Fati, as you can see, both Jesus Navas and Sarabia. I'm halfway through both. All three cards are really, really easy to get, and I highly recommend, even if you don't need them for the team, purely for fodder reasons, like they, they are so, so easy to get. It's worth doing, and right now with icon swaps as well, you can double up a lot of the swaps with Hazus Navas, which is worth keeping in mind. And this, this card's great for a fullback or a wingback. Pace is good, maybe put an anchor on it to boost that, or the basic. Shooting's okay, doesn't really matter too much. Passing, he's got 92 vision, 92 short pass, great, 90, uh, sorry, 88 long pass. Dribbling all over 90s is sweet. Good interceptions and defensive awareness. A little bit weaker, I think an anchor is the best camp style for him. And he just fits in nicely. Sarabia, um, I'll do these intros for all three now, we don't have to do them in the yellow squad builders. He's high, medium, left, uh, left foot at four star, four star. Really nice card, 94 pace, which is good to work with. You can boost that if you want. Shooting is 87, but it's the volleys and penalties that let it down. His attack position at 93, finishing 88, and short part 86 is great. So you are going to want a camp style to boost this. Straight away, the likes of a Hawk comes to mind. Max the pace, get the physicals up, and then get a really good shooting boost. Passing, great. You know, the three key stats, vision, short pass, long pass, all over 90. He's got 95 curve as well, and 91 cross, and fantastic. Dribbling, uh, the composure is a little bit lower than we'd like for right now, but again, free card, 50k team, quite good. Um, defending, he is in a position where you can kind of play him as an attacking centre mid or even as a, a you say, right mid in a 3-5-2. Um, but in this system, we're obviously we've got Hayes and Navas, we're playing four at the back. 87 stamina, which is fine, might need subbed off. And he's got outside of the foot shot trait. Again, for a free card that's really easy to get, you can actually get this from playing in any game mode of foot. Highly worth picking him up. And then we've got Ansu Fati, who I managed to complete in about 45 minutes um, yesterday morning. So again, very easy, people playing golden goal. This card would be a nuts price on the market. Like, people are estimating minimum 500k is what this card would cost. So, the fact we can get him for objectives that you can complete by playing Golden Goal, it's great. Uh, maxed out pace at 99. I feel that he needed a dead eye because I wanted the attack position in the short part and the long shots up. Obviously, the finish is already 99. Dead eye then boosts up the passing a little bit. Dribbling is really nice. So close to being over 90s and everything. Agility and balance is great. Great stamina, great strength, and I said at the foot shot. I'm playing him as a left mid in the 4 4 2 right now. So, he's not getting as many goal scoring opportunities. But. I think this card is very good and worth picking up, especially for free. The rest of the team, just to go through it quick, it's all gold cards. There's not really much to say. Um, Asensio is a normal goalkeeper. We've got Kunde and Eder Militao, one of the best combos you can get at this budget. I wanted to stick fully La Liga because um, it helped with the Spanish links we were having. Your left back options are kind of Yuri, Berici, or Gaia. We went with Gaia because I feel like he's a little bit better in the ball in game, uh, but there's not much difference. You'll look to upgrade them pretty swiftly to the likes of Mendy, who's about 10k. And Valverde is an absolute unit in the midfield. 
He's high height. He's got high uh, good stamina for box to box. Again, like if you're coming across full team this season, uh, teams at this point you will struggle. But this is a really good BS point. Fakir has a team of the season card. Maybe you get him from picks. He's just slightly broken in the game this year. The round is again one of the best box to box in the game. His gold was so valuable for so long because of that. And then we just put a PS Merchant up front in the Bang Yang. There wasn't too many options to work with. Medium low, but he does have finesse and outside the foot shot. I said it's a 50k team. It's just kind of ticking the boxes for you. Uh, and this is a, a good example of a base team you can get if you're new into the game or if you're like wanting to start an RTG kind of thing. This is what you'll go with. And it's decent value for money. And really, you're just making use of the fact that there's three fantastic free cards you can get right now. There are the likes of the, uh, the Liga Guaranteed Team of Season Pack. There is the uh, Liga Nos Team of Season Pack. Maybe you play Champs of the Weekend um, with another cheap team. Uh, and you've got some red player picks. Like, there's plenty you can do to build a team right now. But let's jump on to a bit more of the interesting side of things with a 150k squad. Now, with this team, I am going to run through player by player because we actually have prices. This is coming in at 145,000 coins on the Xbox, 160 on PlayStation 4. I'm running with the Xbox prices because that's what I play on. I'd say Fathy, Sarabia, and Jesus Navas all on this team as well. All free cards, so it's just another eight players you have to go get. First one's going to be Mike Lanyan, 4K for this card. He's just a really good goalkeeper this year. Um, some people are a bit hit and miss with him, but you pay 4,000 coins for him. Takes all the boxes, four star week for good stats. Has other cards that you maybe have in the club already that you could use. So, good option. I would say Hedges Navas in the team. We've already covered plenty about him. He is in at right back. Um, we're going to be using a bit of a Serie A hybrid here. So, this is very much Serie A mixed with La Liga. I've gone for Ibanez. He has featured in some squad builders so far. I see I've got 250, 250 games on him. In the grand scheme of things, meta wise, he has dropped off a little bit, but. 150k team you can pick him up for eighteen and a half thousand coins which is fantastic he's got dives into tackles trait um most people's issue with him is the fact that he has low vision that only affects three balls so it's a short pass and long pass are still ticking boxes pace is good defending's good and the physicals are well rounded i want to put a shadow on him because i don't I, I want to max out the pace as much as possible uh, and he's just going to feel good on the ball without dribbling as well so i think he's definitely worth picking up for that price Beside him, it's not the captain version of the Foot Hero card, uh, but I had the loan in the club, so I thought I'd put him in just to make him look pretty. You're going to go for the normal uh, version of the Foot Hero Cordoba card, which is 20,000 coins in the market, which is absolutely nuts. This is what the Cordoba look card looks like. Two star, three star, low high, five foot eight. He's a little bit smaller, but his stats are still good. It's just fantastic for 20k. He's so cheap now. Pace is great. I'd be probably putting an anchor on him because he is a bit smaller. You're going to boost the strength a little bit. But look, the dribbling's fantastic. It's actually the 57 dribbling that lowers that down. Everything else is nice. He can pass. So many of low vision, but will be able to do a good job. And he's just a beast in game. If you get managed to get his captain card, you're laughing. Left back side of things, we're going to spend 10k on men. They're a little bit pricier at the minute with how things are, but uh, you don't want to overspend on a left back here. And this is the best option for links. He's four star, five star, high, high. There's not much to, there's not too much to say on men, as he's been such a popular card for the past few years. He's got the flair. It's really looks. It's the pace, the well-rounded stats for the price, and the four-star, five-star are the thing. And then obviously the links he offers. I would say over in the right wing position, we're going to be using Pablo Sarabia. We've touched on him already, so we can move on to the next player, which is going to be Terra. And he's seventeen thousand coins on the market, which I think is well. It's not so much nuts. It's just it's very good value. Five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, medium high, which is good. He has five five, so he's smaller, so he actually feels faster than what that eighty-four PS says. I used him for quite some time in my team and loved him. It's like the stamina, the aggression, the really good defending stats, heading actually is a bit lower. The dribbling is nuts on him, so he makes him feel faster. And his passing lets him down a little bit, but this guy you're very much using is like very similar to Kante. He's just gonna be a menace in the midfield and win the ball back for you. 17,000 coins, it's hard to beat for him. Left mid side of things, we're using Antu Fatty. That obviously gets the link into Mendy. We're all playing a 4 5 1. Um, again, a great card to use. Even if you're um, not running the La Liga team right now and you've got another team you're looking for inspo, definitely pick this guy up, even as a super sub, 100% worth it. Completing the team off, you have two options for Tonali. Actually, technically, you've got three options for Tonali. There's his inform and his road to the knockout, which are both about 12,000 coins at the minute. I've gone for the road to the knockout purely because it's got a dynamic. You, 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 I think he has one more shooting on this and one last defending compared to the end form. It's very little and the dynamic school. I think the card looks better than the um, the road to the, the knockout. Stamina at 83. He will probably get through a game if you're playing a high press. You might have to sub him off if you go to extra time. 
but he just is one of those players uh, in game but i think for the price when you're working on 150k budget this is great if you have some fodder to use you can actually go get his player of the month which is 87 from Rita and better it's about 30 to 35 thousand coins but obviously if you have some fodder in the club you can pick that up his you're going to be using him he is medium height uh, as well as uh Terrera. so you're going to be using both of these guys probably in like a four triple two or four two three one one's going to be like drop between defenders you're going to put one on stay back and then you're going to let the fullbacks push up and get involved um really good card to be using in this situation and then really topping off the attack i think i want you to go pick up pellegrini because he can't play camp he can't play center mid he can play box to box he can play defensive mid he's such a versatile player for thirty-seven thousand coins he lifted the europa conference league trophy last night with roma which was fantastic big dubs all over but he, this card is actually great i think a lot of people look at it and say okay three star week would not great but because they're giving him four star skill moves and he has outside of the foot shot trait i really enjoy this card 97 stamina is great the good defender means you can play him anywhere in midfield nice agility and balance he is a bit taller obviously he is six foot one but the, the dribbling stats are good passing keyword matters all over 90s good shooting as well depending on how you play him i've been playing him as a cam and as an attacking midfielder and getting a lot of joy obviously as i say 37 000 coins and then we finish it off with baldy 30 000 coins for this man four star four star high medium pace merchant but he's very good in game i have the marksman on him i think that's the best he does have the finesse shot good stamina dribbling is really good with the reactions being a bit of an issue that's where maybe you want to put a maestro or a marksman like i have to get that boost up and his passing for striker even at this point in the game is still good that's how the team looks in game um i would be using a spanish manager and assigning them to the Serie A. when you do that you can't see it here but basically the we will have four players on eight chemistry that would be mendy Ansu fati jesus navas and pablo sarabia when you put those on to um the right position so obviously you need to position change sarabia into a right mid to get him on seven chemistry when you have the manager applied and then chemistry um those four players will go on eight chem and everyone else will be on 10 chemistry provided you position change to Nile, probably into a center of mid but that's 150k team let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of the team so far uh, and we'll jump into the 300k squad now so once again as i was saying you're gonna have the core in this team again of fate sarabia and jesus navas all three cards we're going with my nine again there's a couple of same players in this compared to the 150k and that's kind of to show you guys upgrade pass if you want them as i said he's four thousand coins um he's just worth putting into the team it gives us the links we need in this situation as well good goalkeeper navas have touched on he's gonna be playing right back for us i put team of the season kunde here who is obviously he is like half the price of what the squad would be just because i'm in the club and i got him from the la liga uh team of the season guaranteed pack as a lot of people have i would be going for his team of the year honorable mentions card which is forty thousand coins in the market but I'm putting him here just because of the chance between red picks and team of the season guaranteed packs and all the upgrade packs you might have this guy in the club already his this would be the upgrade path I would take anyway if you wouldn't input his honorable mentions in there but he is a fantastic center back he's one of the best center backs in the game this year and you're going to be pairing with Cordoba which means you do have two smaller players a 5'11 and 5'8 I know some people won't like that combination and prefer to have a beefy guy but I think you'll be fine and get away with it We've touched on Cordoba, but 20k for this card right now is a bit nuts i'll be honest and um, because he is still so so good there's a lot of value players out there in the market which means you can create a bit more of these creative custom teams I'm going to go with theo hernandez at left back very similar to the manly situation we're just trying to use the the best option we have for the budget eight thousand coins on him i think with 300k you don't really want to overspend on the fullback you could go for a team uh, a team of the week version of him or maybe like the spinazola went a wild card uh, card instead and these suggestions are like between 30 to forty thousand coins um so if you have that bit of budget i definitely recommend doing that just to get something better but he's got the pace for you he's got good stamina i think you really just put an anchor in this card max out the the physicals uh get the pace almost maxed out and then get a boost on the defending and he'll do a job for you um he can also play center back in a three like he can play left center back in a three center back system if you wanted to go down that route um over on the right center mid side of things you're playing a four three three a four three 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 the third variant of it in this situation we're going to spend 107 000 coins on coke um the issue or the options were him or marino uh, and i went with coke because the stats do look that a little bit better uh for the in-game performance um i'd probably put a shadow on this guy i'll be honest and uh, get the pace up as far as you can max out the defending he's got good stamina already agility obviously the, he's a bigger man again he's not even that big he's five nine the dribbling is really nice for him as well as going to be your defensive midfielder passing superb in the key stats the vision in the short pass and long pass he can also score if he gets into the box really nice card and he gets you the strong that you need to get some full chemistry for players we do have two players like quite obviously off camera and you'll see them now 
or not quite now, I didn't quite uh, assume that correctly. You'll see two of the La Liga players aren't going to be on seven chemistry. We're spending 23,000 coins and picking up Dean Natalia as our striker in this team. He obviously gets like a perfect link into Cordoba with how we're playing this. You'll see the, how the chemistry works in a second. He isn't like, he's nowhere near as overpowered as he was at the start of the game, but for the price, he still offers quite a lot of value for you. Four star, four star, high low. You put a hunter in this card, uh, he's got outside of the foot shot tree and finesse shot, it's a win-win. When you're working with a 300k budget, this is one of the best value for money players you're going to get that can perform for you in game. And obviously then you have uh, upgrade pass moving forward from that. And Serie A team this season is around the corner. Um, League 1 comes next then Serie A. So there's a chance you get a team of the season that can upgrade him for you. The first player that's going to be playing off cam is Munian. You're going to have him seven chemistry. He's being slept on. His foot captain was slept on. This card's even better. They've boosted him to four star, four star, high medium, 37,000 coins. Um, he, his pace is good. The shooting is good where it matters in the finishing and attack position is the volleys and uh, penalties that let him down. Vision, he's got 93, 94 where it matters. 85 and long pass, not quite as good, but fine. Dribbling, 99 agility and balance and 90s ever royals, 90 stamina, has finesse shot flare on outside of the foot shot tree, and he's five foot seven with that dribble, and he's gonna feel incredible in game. I really enjoyed this for captain. Don't have this card quite yet myself, but a very good attacking option for you for 37K, absolute bargain. Um, Sarabia is in the team, as we mentioned. Canales is the guy who's gonna fin finish this fat. He is playing left wing, which you'll see in a second, but I absolutely love this card so far. Canales for me, he can actually play any position in the game when you look at the stats. He's four star, four star, which I believe was an upgrade. 97 stab, great. 98 interceptions with good defensive awareness and then like good tackling, but I still feel you want to boost up with a basic. I find basic is actually the best option for him. Passing, or sorry, dribbling nuts, passing nuts, shooting insane, pace, good. This car is 48,000 coins in the market. It was a little bit cheaper. People are starting to realize how good he is. He does a finesse and flair as well. You can play this guy as striker, left wing, right wing, centre mid, defensive midfielder as a secondary defensive midfielder. Like you can honestly play this guy anywhere, even a wing back position. Definitely pick him up. He will he will surprise you. Him and Munain will be two really surprising players for you guys. And then Ansu Fati is the last player, as you mentioned. This is how it lines up in game. Um, if you use a Spanish manager from Syria again, you will get everyone on ten chemistry except for. Canales and Munain, who will be on seven. You'll need the position change Dean Natale from striker to um. Either a centre mid or centre defensive mid. If you get loyalty on him, you can get away with centre midfield. And then Canales will need to go from a right mid to your right forward. But that's all the squad for today. Let me know any thoughts uh, down in the comments. What you thought of them? Any changes you maybe make? If you do try any teams out, let me know how you get on with them. Uh, and also give me suggestions for budgets and themes. We will probably go with a league and theme next week. But if there's any specific budgets you want to see, let me know in the comments down below for that. Again, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here and join me on this content journey. I'd be greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.